That's so pounded. The ocean is so beautiful, but it's an unpredictable place and can be very dangerous. Here are some tips on ocean survival and how to stay calm in scary situations. Growing up in Hawaii as surfers, we have saved so many people from drowning. We wanted to make this video to educate you and help you enjoy the ocean a little more safely. Number one, read the warning signs. And if in doubt, talk to the nearest lifeguard. Ask, where is the safest place to swim? If you actually do this, you should live to swim another day. Going swimming? If you are going to take a dip in the pond, stop and watch the conditions for at least 10 minutes. Identify the danger zones and always swim with a buddy or have someone watching you. That way, if you're in danger, they can help you get out of trouble. How to identify rip current. Rip currents are a real danger to swimmers everywhere. They form when waves break near the shoreline, piling up the water between the breaking waves and the beach. One of the ways this water returns to sea is to form a rip current, a narrow stream of water moving swiftly away from the shore, often perpendicular to the shoreline. Now, if you find yourself in a dangerous situation, do not be ashamed to calmly call for help. If you follow the steps prior, there should be a lifeguard nearby or a local legend that knows these oceans like the back of his hand. Stuck in the rip current? Never swim against the current. Either swim parallel to the beach to remove yourself from the rip zone, or you can relax and let the rip take you out. Sooner or later, it'll mellow out and you can swim in from calm water. Don't panic. Panicking only brings up your heart rate, quickens your breath, and shortens your endurance in the water. Keep telling yourself you're gonna be okay and focus on your breathing. Here are some ocean signals that you should know. Tapping your head means you're okay. Waving your arms means you're in trouble. How to handle getting hit by a wave. Take a deep, relaxing breath and duck under the wave. Always cover your head and remember, the more you relax, the longer you can hold your breath. You can hold your breath a lot longer than you think. Getting in. Letting the waves pummel you in tends to be the quickest way to get to the beach. It may be rough, but ducking under the initial whitewash, then pushing up into the power of the wave will shoot you to the beach. Ride that momentum as far as you can. I hope you get some good takeaways from this video and you're able to be smarter in the ocean and enjoy it for what it is. Thank you so much for watching. Pound the subscribe button, headbutt the like button. We got more videos coming your way. Aloha.